staying overseas now, we're getting an up-close look at the floating pier off the coast of Gaza built by the U.S. military to deliver much-needed aid to Palestinians. For the first time, reporters were invited to the pier, which recently resumed operations after it was damaged by rough seas. Our MTS Taib was there. It was on a U.S. military vessel that we traveled across the eastern Mediterranean to the $230 million humanitarian pier off the coast of Gaza. Among the first journalists to gain access to it. Just a few hundred yards away, entire neighborhoods lay in ruins, but were completely off limits to us. Trucks carrying pallets of desperately needed food aid do make it inside. Since this pier became operational two months ago, only around 408 trucks like this have come off it. And the need in Gaza, just over there, is desperate. Before the October 7th attacks, over 500 truckloads of aid would enter Gaza in a single day. All I know is my objective is to get as many supplies as I can into Gaza for the people of Gaza. The pier, which clangs and shakes, even in calm seas, has been plagued by problems. So many that it's only been fully operational for around 16 days. It's also come under intense scrutiny. After Israeli forces rescued four hostages in Gaza earlier this month, in an operation that killed over 270 Palestinians. An Israeli military helicopter was seen taking off from the beach in front of the pier, prompting the World Food Program, which distributes the aid, to suspend operations there over concerns it had been compromised. Is the security and the integrity of this pier intact? This is a humanitarian pier. It was not part of any operation. It's focused on humanitarian assistance, and that's my mission. And the Biden administration seems determined to make the pier work, saying it'll likely remain operational for even longer than planned. But critics insist pressure should have instead been put on Israel to reopen all land crossings for aid trucks into Gaza, which they say is safer, faster, and cheaper. Tony. Yeah, maybe not an either or, but a both and. MTS Tayyab, everyone's rooting for that pier. Thank you for that. Uh, live from Tel Aviv.